I'm on the balcony off of the master bedroom of an inventory home completed that you can buy now. Stay tuned. Everybody, it's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando and did you see the exterior of this gorgeous home? So we are here getting ready to tour the Sanya floor plan by K. Havnanian Homes and we are here at the Highlands at Summer Lake Groves here in Winter Garden, Florida. So this home behind me is a completed inventory. That means this home is ready for you to move into. If you don't have time to build but you need or want to move to Florida here in the next month or two, this home is probably something you would want to consider. So we're going to take a look at the design options as well as the overall layout of this home. The quick overview is that it's five bedrooms, four baths, 2,834 square feet, and it has an extra deep lot. And again, it's in Winter Garden, Florida. So did you know, by the way, Winter Garden was named number, number one city in Florida to raise a family. So just file that away. All right. So while you're filing that away, let's come over here and take a look at the first floor of this home. So one of the nice things about this floor plan is that they have um, the opportunity, you have a bedroom right here on the first floor. So the master and the other three bedrooms are all upstairs. But if you or your family or guests need a bedroom on the first floor, you have a nice size bedroom right here and a full bath directly to the side. So you have a full bath here, you have the nice shower with the gray tile that goes up the wall. And then if you look at the floor while we're talking about design options, you have the 18 by 18 um, kind of a gray swirled tile. And in the, in the uh, bathroom, you saw that you have white cabinets and then you kind of have, I call it a salt and pepper granite where it's kind of blacks and whites. Now this your staircase is carpeted we're gonna go up there in a minute but right over here is a huge closet now when you look at it you might think to yourself this is probably the pantry for the kitchen I thought that too when I first walked through the home and I was wrong because there's a giant pantry right over there in the kitchen so here we are in the main family living area so in the kitchen by the way how beautiful is this I love the white cabinets I love the salt and pepper granite I love you've got the the 60 40 sink You've got your microwave, gas community. So for those of you that are looking or considering a gas community, you have your gas uh, top here. But look at this, I love this little area right here. It's a nice little nook. Imagine your cookbook sitting right there, or maybe that special, like my uh, mother-in-law gave me these beautiful water pitchers or something that'd be really nice to display. That's a really great opportunity for you to do something kind of creative and add a personal touch. Now, you notice that this is an inventory home and it does have a refrigerator already here. Not all inventories are gonna have those appliances. Not only do you have a refrigerator here, but upstairs you have a washer and dryer as well. So come back over here because this is what I didn't notice at first, which is the huge pantry. It goes all the way back here and then you've even got a little nook back over here. So if you're the kind of person who likes to buy in bulk and you have those giant things of toilet paper and paper towels, that's a great place to store them. All right, so over to the side of the kitchen, you have your dining area. You see you've got your lighting fixture up above. Of course, that will be lowered down, but you have a lighting fixture up there and you have all of this space right here you can put any size table you want circle square rectangular add a leaf whatever you need plenty of space right there and then here in the main family room area again you've got plenty of space you have that same 18 by 18 gray swirl tile has gone all the way from the front entryway all through the kitchen all through the little uh, kitchenette area all through this area now one of my favorite things about this home is this cute little area back here so this is your garage and you know what i want to take you in the garage because this garage is I think it's a three-car garage you've got your two bays and then you've got the tandem right here where we are so you have plenty of space in here and did you notice that they did the epoxy on the floor already so this is a really nice really nice touch here in the garage so you have garage door openers already installed you've got your two bays side by side and then you have this third bay that's the um, tandem bay right back here behind it in addition to that you have right over here, if you wanted to create your little drop zone, you've got space here 
And here, if you wanted to add additional cabinets, maybe do some custom cubbies, whatever really that you decide to do, you've got this little area. And you also have an extra little closet back here. You know, I have a lot of clients that come from up north and they, most homes have basements there. Well, in Florida, we can't have basements. So we need a lot of storage space. Now, one thing before we go upstairs is I wanna show you what's behind me. So this backyard is extra deep. You have where a pretty much, um, if you look where the trees are, you've got more property even behind that. Now you'll see it goes up a little bit of a hill to the backside of another community, but you have an extra deep yard. And if you take a look at your neighbors, come take a look at this because this is important so you can really get a grasp how much space you have. Two doors over, they have done the privacy fence in their yard. Do you see it goes all the way up the hill? all the way up the hill is your property line. So it's not just to the trees, it's all the way up the hill. That's pretty amazing. Okay, so let's go upstairs and take a look because upstairs we have the master bedroom, three more bedrooms, one of which is a suite, and we also have a game room or flex zone area as well. We have the window in the staircase, so I love that. And then let's go over here first. So as soon as you come up the stairs over here to the right, is where you have a bedroom with its own private bathroom. So you have the same flooring, you have the same white cabinets, the same salt and pepper granite. I don't know if that's what they call it, but that's like how I like to reference it. And then you have the white tile in the tub up the shower wall. And here is the actual bedroom itself. So this is located at the rear of the home. So you have a beautiful view, <clears throat> excuse me, if you put a pool or some kind of an outdoor living space, nice view of that. You also have a nice big loft area. We use these spaces for so many different reasons. It's really fun to go back to see my clients' homes after they've purchased to see what they do with this space. Sometimes it's a game room like you would expect. Sometimes they've done it like a library. One person did it as their own art studio. So many creative things that you can do with this space, but it's an extra bonus space. So think about how you would use it for your family. Over here is another full bath with two sinks. Same flooring, same white cabinets, same salt and pepper granite, same tile in the shower, but it's a nice big bathroom because it has the two sinks for these other bedrooms. Nice big bedroom over here as well. This one's located at the front of the home. So as soon as we came up the stairs, this one would have been over to the left. Again, walking back through the uh, flex room or bonus room space. Back over here, we have, um, we have another bedroom also located at the front of the home. Again, it's five bedrooms, a lot of bedrooms in this home. Bedroom here, nice big bedroom, and you have your sliders here for your closet. And you also notice that you've got blinds installed in this home. So in every window so far, you've seen the blinds, including vertical blinds on the, um, the sliders downstairs. Now over here is your laundry room, and you see those two really nice gifts in there. That's called a washer and a dryer. <laughs> and they've also got a pre plumb for a laundry sink if you decided you wanted to add one at a later date. Now back over here is the master bedroom. And the master bedroom we're saving for last because it is so beautiful and it has a balcony off of it. That's right, this has a balcony off of the master. So come in here real fast because here is closet, big closet right over here. You have a lot of space here. By the way, there's crown molding in this master. So you see that they've already added crown molding, which is a really nice touch. Really, really like that. Master bathroom back over here has the same flooring that we saw before, same white cabinet, same salt and pepper granite. You have a really big oversized shower here with gorgeous gorgeous tile work in there as well. Privacy door for the toilet. And then back over here, you have your linen closet. But let's go take a look at that balcony because I want you to imagine and dream with me for a minute. You know, I just sold a house a couple doors down and you can actually see them building their pool right now. But you can, I mean, what an amazing backyard. There's so much depth. You know, most lots in Florida, in this area at least, are about 120 feet deep on average. These are so much deeper. Again, if you look over there to your left, you can see that white fence, and that's how far back your property line goes. That is a huge amount of space. And if you look over that way, you can kind of see the pool, how there's building a pool over in that direction as well. So imagine this balcony area. You've created your outdoor living space. You've created your pool. You are coming in here off of your master bedroom, up to your balcony, and you're gonna look out there and you're gonna see what a gorgeous, gorgeous home that you have created and that you have built for your family. So this is an inventory home and this home will not last long. You know, this is the time of year, even though it's right before the holidays, at least as the time that we're videoing or um, publishing this video, 
A lot of people are finding out that they're getting transferred. A lot, a lot of people, there's a lot of movement. And so inventory homes like this that are completed and ready to go, they actually sell very, very quickly. So if you are interested, please don't wait. Give me a call at 407-848-8042. Let's get you some more information. And remember, I do not represent the builder. I'm a realtor here hoping to help you in your home purchase. So please call me. It is so valuable to have a buyer agent. And personally, I think I'm very valuable as your buyer agent. So please give me a call, 407-848-8042. If you have already subscribed to this YouTube channel, then thank you so much. If you haven't, please consider doing so. And then hopefully we'll meet in person one day and we can help find you your new home. Have a great day, everybody. Happy house hunting.